Miss uh, Nguyen Bích Yến. And uh, the third uh, guest is um, Professor Đào Ngọc Chín and Professor Trần Xuân Tú. Also, uh, Professor Hoàng Ngọc Phúc also will discuss on this topic. So my name is Mike Khan, uh, will be the moderator of this uh, panel discussion. So first, first of all, I'd like to uh, invite Professor Ishibashi for his uh, sharing on his idea uh, for the semiconductor in Japan and uh, in Vietnam in the future. So please. Uh, excuse me. Before uh, starting, I'd like to, uh, to 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 tell that uh, the panel discussion will be recording and live stream because uh, a lot of audience require that if uh, it's very informative and very important ideas. So now we start to recording. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh, now, Professor Ivesi, please uh, go ahead. Oh, can I start? Yep, please. So, so uh, I would like to uh, show the uh, my position talk from the viewpoint of the uh, industry. So uh, this is the uh, semiconductor sales world worldwide. So uh, you know the as you know the uh, the semiconductor market is still growing uh, year by year and the so the uh, so now uh, um, uh, probably uh, 400 billion US dollars so the uh, we need to <coughs> uh, note that the uh, semiconductor content of the uh, uh, systems is also growing. The the so in the past the uh, rate of the semiconductor in the system is uh, small, but is uh, growing. And uh, now uh, the uh, uh, about uh, thirty percent. So. <clears throat> Uh, according to the Nikkei business, the uh, Vietnam industry is growing rapidly. So <clears throat> the now the uh, the many industry factory uh, moves is moving from uh, China to uh, Vietnam, and the, but the uh, issue is that the local uh, procurement uh, rate. Or, of raw materials and the parts in Vietnam is only 36.3%. Uh, it's uh, very low. So the uh, so Vietnam uh, should um, uh, supply the uh, parts the uh, so the uh, to the uh, industry factory. So you have many chance to. <coughs> Um, parts uh, to produce a parts and uh, provides them to the uh, uh, manufacturing. The <coughs> the so when we consider the uh, parts, electronics parts, the, uh, the uh, not only the uh, cutting edge uh, mic uh, chips such as the microprocessor and the uh, GPU. But also there the, are the many types of the semiconductor in, in systems. Uh, for so the semiconductors are, are used in our daily lives. Uh, in the uh, smartphone, tag, uh, card, and automobiles. So this is the uh, Moore's law, the, uh, the uh, uh, feature size at uh, as, uh, uh, as year goes. The uh, cutting edge technologies now uh, 
7 nanometer or 5 nanometer. But uh, in order to uh, uh, develop this technology, it's very uh, cost, uh, uh, cost much. And so the only the few companies uh, can produce such kind of uh, products. But uh, uh, so the such kind of uh, semiconductors as, as uh, power analog RF uh, can uh, produce with a uh, lower invest cost. So uh, which utilize a uh, 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 thicker uh, pattern. So uh, what I would like to say is that uh, the, uh, you have a chance to produce uh, such kind of uh, uh, electronics, uh, which can be uh, fabricated by uh, thicker uh, technologies. So this uh, recommendation, the uh, so the <coughs> uh, Vietnam will uh, become more important as a manufacturing base in the future. So the <coughs> uh, so the uh, so you should, uh, so the Vietnam industry uh, companies are importing analog uh, semiconductors now, um, such as power supply, RF chips, tag power amplifiers, and uh, wireless power transmission, energy hub chips, etc. So you should consider the producing them your own country. And the, uh, uh, so the, the uh, second is that uh, for such kind of uh, technology as AI, IoT, power, uh, energy harvesting, tag, biomedical electronics, and so on, uh, joint research programs between Vietnam and Japan should be considered. So number three, in education, um, uh, human resource who can design both systems, both which includes analog LSI should be educated. And uh, for the Vietnam companies, where excellent design engineers can build up their career in the company with grow. Uh, so this, that's a recommendation from my talk. Yeah, thank you very much for your recommendation and very brief uh, summary for the history and the development of uh, IC semiconductor in Japan and the, the current status. So um, thank you very much, Professor Ishibashi. And I would like to uh, uh, introduce you, uh, Ms. Winbit In. Uh, can you hear me, uh, Ms. Winbit In? She has uh, a, a, a very uh, good experience in industry. Uh, now she is a senior fellow for SoyTech. Uh, now, uh, please share your idea and your recommendation for the semiconductor in Vietnam. Miss mm, Winbit In, can you hear me? Hello. Okay. Um, maybe there's some uh, some issue. So I'd like to move to uh, Professor Dan Ngoc Chin. Uh, can you share with the audience and to all of us uh, your uh, slide and your uh, recommendation for the seminar in Vietnam in the future? Please, Professor uh, Dan Ngoc Chin. Professor, Professor Khanh, mm -hmm. I see that uh, Ms. Yen and uh, Professor Chien and Professor Tu is attendee, not panelist, maybe? Yeah, yeah, uh, already, they already uh, uh, okay. joined the, the attendee. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, I'd like to move back to uh, Ms. Uh, Nguyen Bit In. Sorry for this issue. 
Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear very clear. Yeah. So we go ahead. Good morning. Can you share your screen? Um, uh, yes, I will do that. Can you see my slide? Can you see my slide? Yeah, I see your slide. Yeah. Yes, please yeah. go ahead. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, good morning. Thank you, Professor Mike Kangwin, for an organizer for invitation. It's my honor to participate in the panel discussion. And my honor to know many of the panel um, to So I would like to, um, to start with the answer for the hardest question. What is the right direction for semiconductor in Vietnam? I would like to show the famous uh, uh, conceptual uh, international technology roadmap for semiconductor and more law issued that in 2015. And in this one, you see the CMOX transistor, it had been discussed by uh, Professor Ishibachi about the scaling of the digital content. Uh, it the important component for the integrated circuit. However, the circuit also requires a non-digital content, such as the analog IF passive sensor power and to interface with the outside world. So all these components, uh, it can be integrated together in many different ways, so-called combine the system on the chip, uh, either on the single chip or the, or the other component into the packet to increase the value for the system. So I would like to talking about the opportunity I agree with Professor um, Ishibachi about the opportunity on the uh, modern more. And the reason for, let me go to, the reason for the uh, uh, single, the monolithic at OC scaling, it also decurred from the previous uh, panel it mainly for the cost. Today, the CMOT technology, it already down in the five nanometer and you see the wafer cost and later I will show the design cost. It tremendously increase when the technology can be done the 28 nanometer technology. So the opportunity for the company will be hived in the semiconductor, will be more than more like the cut from the previous speaker. So with me, the opportunity is to be able to be the more than just more than more. It also the integration of the digital at the non-digital together by using the system uh, in the packet. So I think the opportunity it uh, summarize in it here, the system on the packet and the more than more it could be the opportunity for semiconductor in Vietnam. And why the benefit of the system in the packet is shown in this slide. There is four key drivers for why the system on the packet over the monolithic at OC. Driver number one, the chiplet solution, it for the IP reuse and the part-time to a market. In the chiplet, you'll be able to select it, the IP 
and a chip lab that's suitable for their own system and the application. It also easier to upgrade the current system by reusing the existing IP and plug in the new accelerator. The IP review and part time to market is very important for consumer market and the segmented the IoT application. The driver number two is right here. It's very unique for the chiplet um, um, uh, approach. It you would you be able to have a different the silicon nodes, and it can be optimized and selected for each of the chiplet. You don't have to use in the same technology nodes like the monolithic application. So you can select the technology nodes for each of the chiplet. This enable uh, to select the right performance, power, and the functionality, and integrate all the component together into the same packet by the system design, and the ability to connect and sort the distance and how to chip to chip connection. This way you can have an opportunity for further improve and then it also be able to have a smaller form factor. The right word number three is also the benefit on the card. On the earlier I showed the wafer card and here is the design card for the different technology nodes. As you see by using the 65 down to the 28 nanometer technology, you can keep the design cards below the 50 million for each of the design. Go to the advanced node only when it's necessary, but the cost of the design and the software tremendously increase in this one. So with all that, I believe it the system in the packet or the chiplet design and the more than more design, it could be the semiconductor opportunity in Vietnam if the designer or the scientist being empowered and have a collaboration with Japan uh, and internal university to university and university and the industry to establish the ecosystem for the IP design and possible for manufacturing the packet because the cost to make the advanced semiconductor front end process today about five to $10 billion, but the cost for the packaging uh, manufacturing, it cost around it a couple hundred million. So this is my humble opinion. Thank you for opportunity and your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nguyen Bit In, for very uh, in informative and interesting uh, commendation, uh, especially for the system in package, so that we can uh, uh, move faster, faster and uh, closer to the IoT application, and yeah. easy to use the uh, the reuse IP for mm -hmm. for specific application. Thank you very much. We will open for question uh, later. So, uh, or you, now you can type, uh, or raise your question by the chatting window here, and I will back to, to, to pick up the question later. Thank you. Then I'd like to move to the next um, horrible uh, uh, invite, uh, speaker here. Uh, it's Professor Dang Ngoc Jin from Ministry of Science and Technology, Deputy Chief of High Technology Department in Vietnam. So, uh, uh, I like to uh, give the screen to Professor Dang of Chin to continue his talk. So please share the screen now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Hello. Really. Yep. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, I can okay. hear you really. Yep. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for your introduction. And uh, today I'm very pleased to have a chance uh, to share uh, with you uh, my uh, views on the uh, uh, semiconductor in, in Vietnam and uh, what is the right direction. 
and all of my opinion here uh, is based on my uh, working uh, position and my uh, um, my view uh, for the current status uh, in Vietnam. So my presentation was prepared by using the SWOT uh, analysis. So as you can see uh, on the slide, um, in, in Vietnam, we have uh, many strengths. For example, uh, a low salary. Uh, we have a high quality workforce and uh, not the same as uh, developed countries. Uh, many uh, young talents uh, want to follow the uh, uh, financial or banking or uh, studies. But uh, in Vietnam, many, many talents still want to pursue the career in uh, technical studies. Also, uh, in Vietnam, we have a uh, high technology law so we uh, we have a state high support for development of high technologies so as, of course uh, ic design is is one of the high technologies and also the increasing number of uh, technological groups for example uh, being We have no IC industry ecosystem. Uh, here, we we, uh, we should uh, understand that uh, uh, IC industrial ecosystem for even companies uh, work uh, doing the, the the job on the IC design, but. Uh, uh, almost uh, like uh, FDI uh, companies. And so we have small domestic uh, market for ICs and no clear uh, domestic application. And so uh, we have ma uh, every year we have uh, many um, engineer um, graduates, but uh, the, the experience for IC design is very uh, low. Uh, is, uh, uh, they have no chance to to uh, uh, to do research uh, on the ICDX. And from my point of view, there are uh, very uh, we we need more and more IC project uh, manager and IC production manager. Uh, no, not so many people have such kind of uh, uh, skill. Uh, less attention from the uh, almost companies in Vietnam. So also we have uh, we, we uh, in Vietnam we lack of the, the there is a lack of pro political determination for development of semiconductor industry. Of course, uh, we have many many uh, direction uh, from the government for development of electronics industry. But no, uh, no um, specific uh, determination for semiconductor industry development. However, we have many opportunities. Uh, uh, we have a chance to to, to do outsource. Um, uh, I see uh, design. Uh, and uh, FTA and of, uh, one of the uh, uh, most uh, one of the um, good uh, opportunities is golden population of Vietnam now with 68% uh, at the working age 
However, we have um, some fresh competition is uh, increasing. Uh, uh, salary is also is increasing and fast technological innovation and short time uh, to market for IC. Both on, uh, based on the SWOT analysis, I would like to propose uh, some uh, uh, direction. First is uh, we, we still need to develop outsourcing. And, and uh, beside that, we, uh, the, the countries need to, uh, to issue the, a new policy for in, encouraging uh, the private companies uh, for, to join the IC industry. And uh, we, okay, we, we still ha have to call for foreign uh, investment. For the government, we, uh, we need to develop a higher education and training ICs. And uh, for the my ministry uh, of uh, science and technologies, uh, I think uh, we need to uh, develop, uh, we need to open a new uh, national um, program for doing research and for co collaboration with uh, foreign countries. And also, we need to develop a fabulous SME. Uh, Fabulous SME is, is a good uh, model for Vietnam. Uh, I, I don't think the, uh, the, to develop of, um, the, the, the FAF in, in Vietnam is, is good. Uh, right. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor Jin, for sharing uh, so very, uh, uh, very a uh, good point of view from the macroscopic point of view of management uh, for the overall uh, uh, picture of semiconductor for Vietnam. I really appreciate that. Uh, still, uh, we will open for question later. So now I'd like to move to the next uh, invited uh, uh, panelist here today is uh, Professor uh, Phuc. So please, Professor Phuc, uh, can you share your screen and uh, present now? Yes, thank you, Professor. Thank you for very introduction. So I just want to share the opinion about the security for the I see design and the I see design for I see design for security. So yeah, you know that's for the I see design. We need the designer, we need the IP vendor, the tool vendor for nice patent signalship, and we need the foundry for publication. So, so we know that in Vietnam we had no foundry, and as Professor Chien has said, the fabless is very good model for Vietnamese. So, um, and we don't have a e EDA vendor. And for the system design, we need many IP core for many resources, many countries. So, I also think that Vietnam should focus on the IC design, and. Uh, However, for many critical applications like in defense system, public security, and information security field, we need the secure IC. It means the IC for security purpose like the cryptography, data encryption, and authentication. So also we need the design, the IC design become secure like we to detect the hardware chosen, so 
very more hardware and and cost effect I see. And so that I think that we should focus on the open source hardware design I see, like we use the rich file processor for with the security in hand functionality. So, so I think that is one of the direction for IC design, but the main market is for the government. That's just in my idea for that. So thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Professor Fu. Uh, now I'd like to introduce you uh, another uh, valuable guest from Professor Sun Tu. Uh, can you share the screen? Can you hear me, Professor Sun Tu? Good morning, everybody. Yeah, hello. Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Yeah, okay. please go ahead. Yeah. Okay, I would like to share this one. So you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Okay. I'm sorry that the I joined the conference uh, with uh, my smartphone. It's not so uh, convenient. But hope that it's uh, okay for you. So, uh, as we can uh, have some discussion about the industry trend and uh, the technology, and some uh, word about IC design and uh, simulator in Vietnam from Professor Isibasi, Professor uh, Ian, and uh, so, uh, so I think that uh, we have many challenges, uh, many opportunities, but uh, how we can uh, promote IC design activities uh, in Vietnam. So one of the things uh, I, I, I see that uh, very important is uh, how we can build the collaboration between university and industry, uh, how we can uh, make the uh, more confidence between uh, industry and university. So we have uh, several activities in the past. For example, uh, if a company can go to university to get some students for internship and recruit uh, them after graduate. Uh, however, I think uh, to make the collaboration more stronger, so we should uh, implement some joint uh, costs between uh, university. Uh, we can uh, do a special program, or you can uh, we can uh, uh, add some special costs uh, through the syllabus, and we can invite industry expert uh, as a teacher for this course. So. Uh, from that, uh, we can benefit uh, for our students, but we also understand uh, what is the need and what is the current uh, consideration of the, of the industry uh, in uh, this field. And we can uh, modify or revise our curriculum to adapt the need of the industry. Another thing that uh, we should have uh, some kind of uh, Joint research lab or research program between university and industry. Uh, thanks to that, we can uh, boost uh, our students and also our colleagues uh, working uh, together with uh, uh, industrial expert on or engineer, uh, and uh, we can get uh, the idea from uh, young people from uh, university but also experience uh, from uh, expert uh, from industry. Uh, to do that, we should have also uh, industry sponsor research uh, uh, grant uh, because uh, the university just focus on uh, teaching uh, and some academic research. So we need the uh, 
uh, more grant or more research uh, fund, fund from uh, uh, both government and uh, industry uh, to promote uh, deeper research and uh, development activities uh, in university. And uh, of course, for the other side, we can send our faculty uh, as the industrial consultant for some advanced research. Because uh, as you know, uh, industry is just a focus on the current trend or uh, maybe the plan for uh, five years uh, because uh, they, they need the focus on uh, the revenue, the benefit, uh, and the, 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 the current competition with uh, other company. Uh, in the other side, uh, faculty at the uh, university can uh, have more time, more flexibility to do some advanced research. And they can share this uh, information, this experience uh, through the research uh, with uh, industrial experts to have a new idea for the next uh, commercial products. So uh, one of the most uh, thing I, I, I think in uh, recent years that uh, in Vietnam, we need to build uh, community, not only uh, some action, uh, conversion action between uh, university and industry, but we should we also the community for uh, IC design. So we should uh, work together to have some uh, design contest uh, for young people, uh, for students and also for young engineer at university uh, to join with this uh, design contest. And uh, we also Maybe after this design contest or the Zoe uh, collaboration research program, we can build some kind of IP portfolio and uh, uh, in the network, collaboration network, or even we can uh, share or open this IP portfolio for the community. So people can use this, can uh, feedback with uh, if they have some uh, error or some mistake, and then the designer or uh, the research team can improve uh, this IP and then the IP become uh, uh, more reliable and more value. And then they can be used in some uh, semester products in the future. Uh, one of the things that uh, is at the Vietnam National University uh, for last three years, we try to focus to build some uh, some kind of uh, system on chip um, based on uh, RISC-5 uh, developed by University of Berkeley. So we would like to uh, to, 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 to complete uh, this uh, portfolio and open for the community maybe in uh, next year. So we call uh, other support from uh, industry and uh, university uh, to work together for this uh, open uh, IP portfolio. So I hope that uh, uh, with uh, sharing um, these activities, uh, we can promote the uh, IC design activities uh, in Vietnam. And uh, we, we are looking for a uh, brighter future for IC design in Vietnam. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Sun Tu, for very interesting sharing for the idea of collaboration between university and industry. So now I would like to open for a question and discussion for this topic. Um, you, you can raise your hand or you can uh, uh, type your uh, question on the chat or you can mute your, uh, your mic and you can talk directly here. So please. Feel free to raise the question. So I have a question to uh, um, Miss uh, Nguyen Bích Hiên. Is okay? Yeah, please. So uh, 
from uh, from my uh, from what I know that um, um, so far in Korea, all the companies and engineer they they try to 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 design and to, they try to join in every aspect of IC design, uh, microprocessors, uh, memories, and etc. And finally. Finally, uh, now um, uh, Korea is the biggest uh, guy in the, in the memory industry. So they uh, quit the, um, the microprocessors. Uh, so uh, my question is: the, uh, What is um, suitable for the Vietnam uh, uh, memories. Uh, Professor Fook said that uh, he tried to design a specific uh, IC for uh, defense and for securities and so on. And what do you think? Um, um. I'm quite not, um, I think the, did, did you hear the, the last part? The connection not very good from my side. I only hear down to when you say that in Korea, uh, the engineer and the designer now more focused on the memory. And then after that, the, um, I couldn't hear most of the part. It, it the mixing, you know. The connection not very good from my side. Yeah, the so, connection. Uh, Professor be... Mikai, can you? Okay. Uh, uh, I also have a not good connection uh, when Professor Dang of Chin talked to. Yes. Uh, All yeah. right. I then uh, his question. So the main question is uh, what is the specific IC Vietnam should focus on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I think uh, the the uh, professor too uh, can hear me well. Okay. Yeah. Please help professor too. <laughs> so his question: Hello? He need the advice. What is the specific I see Vietnam should focus on? So, Professor, to uh, repeat uh, that, uh, what the specific that uh, I see in Vietnam should focus on now in the future. So, actually, my background is more on the technology, but working with the semiconductor industry for uh, a few years and have a lot of extensive collaboration, like Professor Tu mentioned between industry and the university. So I think that Korea, if we're talking about Korea, I think Korea PD, I think what I, I hear Professor Tu said that I agree, Korea go very strong and very fast in developing the IC, um, the technology beginning, they buy the 256K DRAM uh, from Micron technology, but there is the tremendous government support and training the engineer. They send a lot of engineer students to outside Korea. And after the study, they working in the industry. And in the later part, they came back and they talk with the memory and they quickly, from very behind, they quickly capture all the memory. Now they are leading the memory uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the semiconductor field. And they move to the micro uh, processor, the AP, microelectronic. So I agree with Professor too, in order to go to have a, I believe with Vietnam have it just like your swap. Vietnam have a, a young motivated scientist 
the second thing is then I put down that if we have an opportunity, if we have a collaboration, and if we have um, um, empowerment for the young scientists and the university to go. I don't think we limit with what field we can go, but came from behind now, it's hard to cut up the industry. So I agree with um, uh, Professor um, Ichibachi uh, that we focus on the uh, modern more on the analog RF power sensor. I think did they have an opportunity. And the second one is pick up the chiplet and integrating the existing chiplet. And in the chiplet, I show it break it down many different components. And we can do one thing at a time, start more and grow big. So this is the reason why I recommend the system design. You can pick up the technology in the market, put together for specific application. At the same time, you can work with the different fab labs, with different university to develop the different component. And then you can replace the component with the external, uh, the, using the internal to replace the component uh, from the external. So I hope I answer your question. So I am go after the system in the package. <laughs> And for the uh, IoT application, because all the other one, it already uh, require the advanced technology, a lot of money, a lot of experience. So I would like to start something like, you see the market for the IoT, it's going to be very big. It's going to be a billion, a billion device and more application. Uh, and so I would like to focus on this application first and be able to develop the, the technical talent and the design house inside Vietnam using the existing chiplet. And later we can design our own chiplet and have a complete solution. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your uh, uh, recommendation. So, any question? I have uh, one question mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. Professor Bashi. So, uh, uh, as a professor, Professor Isabasi mentioned that uh, uh, we should have some kind of uh, uh, collaborative program between Vietnam and Japan. So, uh, could you please uh, give us more detail about the idea? So, if you have any uh, future program to promote the IC design between Vietnam and Japan. Mm, uh, so uh, the what I um, mean about the um, the collaboration uh, between Vietnam uh, Japan and the uh, the uh, system design the so the um, for example as I uh, told in the uh, keynote speech. Uh, um, so we are now collaborating about uh, the uh, uh, infection disease screening system. So it's one collaboration. The, uh, the another collaboration should, uh, could be, uh, for example, collaboration about uh, IoT. So the, um, the about the uh, IC design level. So uh, currently, uh, the um, in Vietnam, uh, so the uh, in Vietnam, the uh, the uh, it's a kind of uh, so uh, many uh, big companies um, regard the uh, Vietnam as a uh, design outsourcing country. Uh, country. 
But、uh, I think we,、uh, the Vietnam uh, should uh, grow as a、uh, system, uh, system、um, design、uh, country so that、uh, we should、uh, consider to collaboration between the uh, uh, collaboration about the、uh, system design, such a system design. Uh, as a, uh, the IoT,、uh, or so on. So it's my、uh, answer. Can, can I answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Yeah.、Mm. I, I yeah, hope that、uh, so、we do focus on、uh, uh, IoT, AI, and IoT. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, of course. In fact,、uh, we have many, many activities on that. Yeah. Of course, system needs a, a new、uh, semiconductors,、uh, such as uh, uh, AI chip and, and, the,、uh, and so on.、Huh? The, mm. So, by considering the,、uh, the system design, we,、uh, some, uh, also we need to consider、uh, the、uh, Such a、um, semiconductor、uh, chip design or IP design. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Professor Ishibashi. Yeah, I totally agree with you、thank、that m a y Vietnam should focus on specific applications in AI and IoT applications. And so,、uh, Based on that, we, we can uh, uh, develop the system design uh, uh, skill and human resources. So, any、uh, other questions? I understand that this topic is very wide uh, and uh, a lot of、uh, concern for, for, for this one, but it's a really, really interesting thing.、Uh, we have time for one or two more questions. So, feel free to, to raise、uh, your question. I also just have a small question. I would like to ask、uh, you, and especially、uh, Professor Dang Ok Jin. So, how about、uh, how do you think about、uh, a factory or fabrication、uh, in Vietnam? Mm. Uh, I, I, I have a question to、uh, the chair. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. So, so my、uh, mm -hmm. from. Is it okay? Yeah, okay, okay. I can hear you. Please.、Um, uh, so far, uh, uh, um, Vietnamese government has.、Um, Uh, the Prime Minister issued a, a decision for development of、um, uh, the electronics uh, industry uh, in the framework between uh, uh, in the framework cooperation uh, between uh, Japan and Vietnam.、Mm. The, the Prime Minister、uh, issues a, a decision so far. And my question is to Chair is that. Uh, uh, At your position, can you, uh, can you uh, uh, how say, uh, uh, find a way to, to create, uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to create a, a collaboration program to develop or to find a way to uh, uh, make a collaboration? Program between、uh, Japan and Vietnam for、uh, I see、uh, a semiconductor industry is okay. Yeah, okay. can you devote your、uh, effort? Yeah, thank you for your question. So, um I like to share some、uh, experience and my,、uh, my, my working now for the collaboration between.、Um, 
mm -hmm. Japan and Vietnam. So uh, a few years ago, uh, I uh, made a cooperation with the uh, government uh, security uh, department and also with uh, Lebedo University and other young researchers and uh, come to Japan, especially come to the University of Tokyo, my, my lab to, 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 to fabricate, to design a chip. And uh, for your question for the, the future, I think we, we should push more and more collaboration for the research uh, between Japan and Vietnam because Japan uh, already uh, had a, a very good experience in developing um, IC and the market. And uh, my concern is uh, Vietnam should focus on some specific application, not all application. For example, we focus on uh, IoT or some AI application, especially for, for the Vietnam market. Uh, for, for my side, uh, I am willing to cooperate with, uh, with others university uh, than now. Uh, uh, so uh, for example, to send the young research to, to come to, 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 uh, to Japan and make a cooperation research. And also for industry, we can uh, uh, do our best to, uh, uh, to give some comment or some co contribution to the project in Vietnam related to my work, for example, my work related to RF and uh, mini way system or 5G or tower 6G application. So uh, is this uh, satisfies your question? Yeah, uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, I'm sure that I will uh, keep in touch with you uh, to promote uh, collaboration with uh, uh, Japan. Yeah, surely. Uh, thank you very much. So uh, I think you still have a lot of questions for this topic, but uh, we, are, <laughs> we are a little bit late for the schedule. So again, thank you very much uh, for your um, valuable uh, command and recommendation uh, for, for this topic and for all of the audience uh, joining uh, the session today. So I'd like to uh, uh, give my honor uh, a prank to all, all of you and wishing you a, a very uh, nice weekend. And now I'd like to, to, to uh, conclude and stop the, the session uh, now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you very much. much.